In this year of excellence, Mercedes-Benz India has rolled out yet another product, its fourth so far this year, the GL63, to tell us more about this and how it fits into the overall strategy of the company and the overall outlook of the uh, luxury car market in, in India. We have with us Mr. Ebert Kern, MD and CEO of Mercedes-Benz India. Mr. Kern, first, congratulations on the launch of this beautiful vehicle. Tell us the strategy behind this. Do you see an emerging market, an emerging segment for this kind of vehicles? Because at this price, at this kind of uh, performance, it's right at the top. Yeah, thanks for having the chance to talk to you here during the launch of this beautiful Mercedes-Benz GL63 AMG. Yeah, you're right. It's the top end what we are talking about. The GL63 AMG marks uh, the most powerful SUV what is available in India now. It is a perfect blend on the one hand, luxury on the other hand, highest performance, what you just can expect from any AMG. This one comes with eight cylinder V engine, uh, 5.5 liters B twin turbo. Twin turbo, yeah. Yeah, by turbo producing 410 kilowatt and offering you a torque of 760 Newton meters what gets the car from 0 to 100 in just 4.9 seconds. Yes, there is a market for a high-end product like this, just to take up your question. Uh, India, anyway, is developing more and more into SUV. The share of SUVs is rising, and uh, the same is true for this segment in the market where we talk about the top-performing uh, products. Uh, we think we have a very competitive offer at 1.66 crore extra room here in Mumbai. Uh, what you get for that is actually everything what is possible in modern, high-end and highest performance SUV. Could you just give us an idea about how big is this segment and I mean as you said it's fast emerging, fast growing. Uh, how, how big is the segment you expect to be by the, by the same time maybe next year? And uh, in your portfolio, what is the uh, share of SUVs there? You know, the, the GL itself, the Mercedes-Benz GL itself, is a very, very successful product in India. We are on wait list for the diesel version. The diesel version, by the way, produced, manufactured in Chakan, in Pune, at the Mercedes-Benz factory, so a localized product. Uh, this one, the GL63 AMG, it's a CBU import out from Afaltobach, where the AMG uh, uh, headquarters is located. Uh, it follows one man, one engine approach as every AMG. Um, this of course is a niche uh, segment in the market. There are not the very high volumes in, but more and more enthusiasts go for this high-end SUV products. And uh, the good thing uh, uh, of the GL is uh, uh, you can use it everywhere. It's a car for the racetrack the same as you can use it, of course, off-road, with all the off-road capabilities what are available with Mercedes-Benz. But you can use it uh, as well as just a normal car to, to go from A to B. Yeah? The condition of road doesn't matter. Yeah? With this car you get everywhere in a most luxurious way, in a most um, uh, performanced way. So uh, we think it comes exactly at the right time and it will meet the objective and the wishes of more and more customers out there here in India. I believe in this year of excellence you are going to launch 10, all, uh, 10 products, right? This is kind of a halo product in your portfolio if I may call that. Uh, how, much, uh, how many of these 10 would be all new products and, uh, and, uh, and in what segments would you focus more perhaps this year? Yeah, we uh, launched already uh, now four new models into the Indian market in this year. It all started in the beginning of the year in January with the all-new S-Class. And uh, many of your media colleagues expected just that this is the best car in the world. And I'm very happy that this expectation, uh, your media colleagues and more and more customers now um, uh, uh, share with us as well. So it started with the S-Class, what is the top of the end uh, limousine uh, in the Mercedes-Benz uh, portfolio. In the end of uh, January we added the C-Class Grand Edition to celebrate 50,000 Mercedes-Benz cars on Indian roads uh, and the C-Class as you might know it's one of the volume uh, products uh, in, in our setup. 
At Auto Expo in February, the ML500 Guard um, was added the first high protection SUV of Mercedes-Benz in India and now the GL63 AMG as the first new AMG product what uh, comes to India in this year. There is more to come, you are right, 10 new models, that's the plan. And uh, these 10 new models cover all areas, limousines, SUVs and AMG. And talking about your products and your uh, locally assembled products, your predecessor had told us that when the plant was inaugurated that this plant is designed keeping in mind to be able to uh, uh, produce or assemble the entire range of Mercedes-Benz worldwide portfolio. So uh, uh, are you planning to add more products to your locally assembled or locally produced uh, portfolio? Yeah, we follow a strategy uh, here in India. So Mercedes-Benz has a very, very clear plan how to go forward. It's all about sustainable and profitable growth. And uh, one part of the strategy is to be future ready and to have the production capacities in place. Right now we are on the way to just finish the expansion of our factory in, in Chakan. Uh, means we just double the capacities over there. To 20,000, right? To 20,000 units a year. Uh, at the moment we assemble the uh, C-Class, the E-Class. Since 2012 the ML-Class, the SA ML350 CDI. We started last year in August with the GL350 CDI, so the uh, diesel version of this very beautiful AMG car and uh, just a few weeks back we started the assembly of the all-new S-Class and the first locally assembled S500 were already handed over to our customers here in India. So this is five models at the moment. Um, Peter Honig, my predecessor, of course he is right. There is more to come. Um, a bit too early to talk about today but of course, uh, when I say we are getting future ready and we double the production capacity, yeah, it's not wrong to expect uh, that there will be new and more products to get manufactured in India. Talking about another product on the right at the entry level of your portfolio, the A-Class, you introduced it and its, uh, its uh, responsibility was also to kind of upgrade customers from prospective customers of other brands and, and get into the Mercedes-Benz family. How has been the response so far and do you also plan to have it locally produced to make it more competitive and more attractive to consumers? Yeah, the A-Class was a success from the very first day. We introduced it in May of 2013 and the A-Class uh, got a lot of traction from the very beginning. And we are very happy that the conquest rates are uh, far above 50%. So it means uh, more than every second A-Class customer is a new customer to the brand of Mercedes-Benz. There are many uh, customers coming, of course, from other brands. Upgraders, how it is uh, called uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, and both A and B class uh, form the entry now, the new entry into the brand. And we are very happy that we have this very sporty and uh, with beautiful design equipped A class for the young customers uh, entering the brand of Mercedes-Benz and on the other hand the more functional B-Class what offers you a lot of space and uh, a lot of uh, variability uh, what is fitting young families uh, the same as as uh, couples or very outdoor oriented uh, customers so both the products help to get the brand uh, younger to get the brand more sporty and uh, both of it uh, uh, focus as well on the new Mercedes-Benz design language, what we see in products like the new E-Class and the new S-Class as well, but it's even more important in, in, in the segments where A and B are in. So overall, it was the right move. It was a very successful move, and we are very happy that India uh, welcomed both the products in this way. Uh, by the way, today, one out of five Mercedes-Benz is a compact Mercedes-Benz is a A or B class. I see. Any, any plans of locally producing them so that because... Uh, we are on the way to finally decide which products we locally produce. Uh, I mentioned already we will add some products to the five what we are producing already. Uh, it's a bit too early to tell you exactly... Is the A class a good candidate for that? There are different very good candidates. Right. And talking about uh, your uh, overall strategy and the business, how the overall luxury car segment is growing, 
any uh, positive impact of the rupee which is again showing some some positive signs of strengthening any positive impact on your <laughs> yeah, business yet first or? of all uh, looking one year back uh, the, the rupee was uh, not at 83 but it is today to the euro but maybe 20 percent better so uh, yeah we are very happy to see that it at least somehow stabilizes around 83 uh, to the euro right now um, it was challenging times uh, when this depreciation uh, we, we, we have to see um, now I think there is a kind of of uh, balancing achieved and uh, many people I talk to tell me okay wait for the elections hopefully there will be a stable government and with a stable government and the dynamics what is expected to happen uh, the Indian economy could do and will do much better in future. Do you expect the same for the luxury car segment also? Maybe post elections it could show a slightly st steeper growth um, curve? Or do the you think overall car market in India is, is a kind of disappointing uh, for the last one and a half, two years. Luxury did uh, relatively better, uh, but we still realize there is some hesitation in the market. Um, Having a positive uh, election outcome, uh, yes, it could be that uh, you see some acceleration over there. Fortunately, Mercedes-Benz was not hit by, by the development uh, the last one, two years. Uh, we had an, uh, a very successful year of 2013 with more than 30%, uh, actually 32% growth, and it just continued into this year. Q1 was best ever with more than 2,500 Mercedes handed over to customers here in India, what is a growth of 27%. Um, so we are following our strategy, we are following uh, a, a approach growing sustainable and profitable. And uh, there are no signs uh, that the Mercedes-Benz success story in, in India will be interrupted in any way. Um, our teams, uh, both in Pune at Mercedes-Benz India, but as well at all the 64 touch points we have in India, all our dealer partners, our teams there work quite hard to, at the end, delight every customer at every touch point in every single contact. It's all about best customer experience. And lastly, talking about sustainable, profitable growth, uh, you said you had earlier also mentioned the numbers are not so important, but sustainable growth is more important. And uh, do you think uh, now in the luxury car market, the, uh, the kind of discount trend which was witnessed earlier, that thing is kind of subsiding now or do you think it still exists at some, some level? Mercedes-Benz is all about value. We do not believe in this short-term uh, discount games, so uh, we try to, to be aware of it. Uh, of course, our dealers at the end decide on their own uh, when they retail a car. But uh, Mercedes-Benz, a customer has to trust into the value of a Mercedes-Benz. Uh, therefore, we are not going the discount way. Uh, it is there in the market, uh, and I don't want to comment on any activities of the one or the other competitor. Uh, it's not our direction. Finally, you know, if you give the discount today, yeah, uh, latest when you resell the car, yeah, uh, you will realize it had a, an impact on the residual value of the car as well. So, no, our customers trust into Mercedes-Benz and this will be the approach as well into the future. So, with the best wishes that this trust only strengthens further and uh, wishing a wonderful year ahead. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you.